Welcome everyone. Today we'd like to introduce Kevin Cope, our firm's chief investment officer. Kevin, you have a great name, but there is no relation that we know about, is there? Nope, not that we know of. All right, well, welcome to Cope Corrales. Thank you, thank you, I'm glad yeah. to be here. We want to take a few minutes for our clients to get to know you, Kevin. Uh, you have some tremendous institutional investment background, uh, which is unique and is really gonna benefit our clients. And uh, would you be able to just tell us a little bit more about, about that journey? Sure. I, I'd love to say that it was a grand plan yeah. uh, that brought me here and, and gave me the skills to, uh, to benefit our clients yeah. to the extent that uh, I expect they will. But it was actually a series of fortunate coincidences that um, you know, taught me to invest the way that I do. And that started as a, a young guy at Solomon Brothers, which was my first Wall Street job as an equity sales guy on Wall Street. And as the young guy, I got uh, all the le least prestigious accounts, which at the time were uh, hedge funds, which at the time were smaller and less, uh, less well known than they are today. But the advantage was that uh, I got to talk to the decision makers. Sure. And um, you know, these were some of the brightest uh, guys on Wall Street, and I got to talk directly to them. And um, you know, they were both generous with their time and with their knowledge, really and it nice. really ignited in me the, the spirit of investing that, that caused me to go on and, and manage hedge fund portfolios myself for, for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, and that is, um, it, it, it's really important having hedge fund experience. So would you help us kind of define or get our hands around institutional investing, how that might be different in terms of how we might hear about investing and basically how institutions invest and maybe even a little, talking a little bit about risk and taking responsibility for portfolios. Sure. Uh, so uh, in, uh, I think that our individual clients think about risk in a way that's more intuitive maybe than institutions do. Sure. Uh, for the typical institution, they think about risk as the volatility of prices and deviation from a benchmark. Okay. And, you know, I've always thought about risk as uh, uh, paying the wrong price for a stock, okay. making a mistake, selling at a loss, a capital loss, because my first priority for our clients is capital preservation. Yep. So, um, you know, I think clients understand that yep. and appreciate it. Yeah, not to lose money, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's important. And that is that differentiation on the institutional side, how we think and, and the approach that we take on the active, really picking our spots. Maybe you can talk a little bit about kind of just picking our spots from an investment standpoint. Yes, you know, one of the things that makes us a bit unique is the fact that we manage our investment process in-house. Yep. Um, a lot of our peers uh, ch choose to outsource. And, and I think that managing the investments in-house uh, allows us to take responsibility for our decisions, okay. good and bad. And, yep. and I've been responsible, uh, a responsible capital allocator on behalf of clients um, through several difficult market cycles. That's right. And I think owning, owning your performance, owning, owning your choices and your decisions is, is critical. I also like you know, being uh, an in-house manager gives our clients the opportunity to be as close to the investment process as they choose to be. That's right. And, and I think that when markets get turbulent and difficult, which they, they can do, uh, clients are comforted knowing how we think, yep. how we make our decisions, and, and being as much of that process, as big a part of that process as they choose to be, uh, gives them comfort. And they also know that, that when, when they're stressed, they can pick up the phone and talk to us. That's right. Yeah, it's really getting in with the client and helping to understand why things are happening, right? I think generally there's a consensus sometimes that it's just what the market's doing. Uh, but, but that's kind of not taking responsibility in some ways. And we've had a lot of conversations about this, which is how not just why the mar well, what the market's doing, but why it's doing and why are we positioned in certain ways. Right, and part of that is is planning in advance and building a portfolio that can that can weather difficult markets. That's right. So I'm, I'm fond of, of Warren Buffett's um, his Noah's Ark rule, which yep. is um, forecasting rain um, is not important. Building an ark is. That's and, right. Yeah. And and what he really means by that is that you know you, you plan in advance of difficulty, That's so right. that you're not uh, reacting. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's important. And, and the fact that we build in the, uh, the planning, the estate planning, the tax planning, all those things get wrapped into the investment process. They can't be considered independently. No. 
Yeah, it's very challenging to do things kind of in the siloed model where we're, right. you know, just in investment sleeve. And certainly that is some, some of the way we work with some clients and they prefer that. But we do really take that comprehensive approach. And I think that was a little bit different than, than maybe some of your experiences and some of the, the past firms you've worked with. Right. And it, as an as a institutional manager, you don't have as much contact with the client. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I had forgotten how much I enjoyed that. Um, when I was at Credit Suisse First Boston, I had interaction with individual clients um, and then spent you know, two decades as a as an institutional guy. Yeah. And you know, getting back to meeting with the clients and actually interacting personally with the people that we were doing all this work for. And, yeah. And all our efforts are to their benefit. Um, seeing seeing them in, in you know in person is is meaningful. It is. To me. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's kind of connecting, not just numbers. Uh, I think in the past, it's uh, you know having been a. And managing money just for an institution, it's a little bit of a mercenary relationship. There's not a lot of a relationship per se. It's a, it's a function. Right. And I think the beauty of what we do with our clients is getting to know people and really seeing how what we do meets their objectives in life, right? Meet, meets what their family needs are, what their legacy you know, desires are. Yeah. I mean, I think they'll benefit from the institutional approach That's right. without the mercenary. <laughs> you know, we're going to generate the returns that That's they right. need uh, within the risk constraints that they need. And, uh, and we're going to bring a, a, a very professional institutional um, process to that. Absolutely. Kevin, it's great to spend some time together. Really excited uh, for you to get a chance to meet, meet our clients and, yeah, I'm and just to bring the world of experience, world of investing and experience to them and to, uh, to us and our firm. I'm very glad to be here. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin.